All right, you guys have to not mind the mess that is my face right now. I just got back. Actually, let me turn down this music so you guys can hear me. I don't know why I walked over to it because I have a Google Home and I could just say, hey Google! Hey Google! Turn off the music. She never listens to me. Anyways, so um, as you guys know, I went vegan um, the beginning of this year and I went away to California for a week with one of my best friends. We went to San Diego and LA and basically I just started eating tacos and fish and that snowballed and yeah, my vegan stuff went out the door. So I need to redo the five day vegan detox that I did. And when I had mentioned it before to you guys, um, on my Twitter and stuff and on Instagram and Snapchat and basically everywhere. So many people asked me like, hey, what was that like detox that you did? So I figured I would share with you guys the detox that I did. I, it's a tone it up detox. It's a five day detox. Um, I'll put all the information in the description box below so that you can go ahead and I guess follow it as well um, and sign up and you get your free five day detox. They have, if you don't wanna do like a uh, vegan, you can do vegetarian, pescatarian. There's your regular like, you know, meat eater carnivore um, detox diet thing or whatever. So I'm gonna just go through with you guys and I'm gonna just vlog the five day experience so that you guys can see um, how I'm feeling and I'll give you updates, see details of my stomach and how I look and how I'm feeling. Mostly not even really how I look because like how I look is not what I'm worried about. It's more about like how I'm feeling inside and like since I started eating meat again, I'm feeling super sluggish. My skin is starting to break out again um, and I'm just not feeling as great as I was before. So I'm gonna just hop back into that. So I decided I would just go ahead and film this so that you guys can see um, what I'm making, how to make it, and how it turns out. And yeah, so enjoy and let's get this video started. If you hear my little robot vacuum going, he's like doing his thing over here. Our new pet, our new dog. So the soup is made. It's like boiling over here, doing its thing. And then I'm just cooking the lentils really quickly because I didn't want to use um, canned lentils, obviously because the sodium levels in that stuff are like friggin' out of this world. So I just decided I would cook um, fresh like lentils, I guess. Are they considered fresh? I don't even know. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make the tray bake now that the um, soup is simmering. Um, and for the tray bake, it's really simple. All you do is just chop up some of your favorite veggies and throw them in the oven, bake them, season them, and then just toss them with some of your favorite protein. Um, you could basically, if you are using meats, obviously you can use a meat, or you can just go ahead and throw them with some lentils or, you know, like tofu or whatever. I'm gonna use lentils because I love lentils. Uh, it's funny. I used to hate lentils. I used to think they were the most disgusting thing ever. And when I went vegan, those were like the only things I was eating and I loved them. So I'm um, gonna throw that in with it and you throw that after it's the vegetables are obviously cooked and then you just mix it up and it's almost like a little like salad-y kind of thing, like a bowl, I guess. And then, yeah, that's it. So that one's like super simple. Um, and the soup is just boiling over here and I'm so excited to eat it. It smells phenomenal in here. I swear. All right, so the soup is finished and it's ready to go. Ooh, shit, it's hot. So I'm just gonna pop it into my Vitamix, put it on the blend for soup and it will be ready to go. I'm not going to do this on camera because this is gonna be way too hot and I do not wanna burn myself or break my camera. So I'll be right back. 
It smelled so good I had to pour myself a little teeny tiny bit in the bowl. And I'm gonna have some of my salad with it. I'm gonna make this a beet salad right quick. So I'm about to eat my soup and my salad for lunch. Normally I would do this um, for my dinner and do my tray bake in the day. Um, just because I feel like it's a little, um, what's the word I wanna use? Like heavier, I guess, the tray bake. Um, this seems a little bit more light for me so I'd rather eat it at dinner time. Um, it says you're supposed to switch it up, but I mean, you can follow it if you want and follow like the actual guideline. I didn't last time and I don't think I'm going to this time either. Um, just cause I liked how it worked for me last time, but basically this is what the salad ends up looking like. It's just shredded beets, shredded carrots, some apples, squeeze a little lemon on that thing with some olive oil and some salt. I added pepper because I just like pepper and yeah, and you're good to go and that's your lunch, so. All right, so it's like super early in the morning, we're running late, but I figured I would share with you guys this morning detox drink that you're supposed to drink, the morning mocktail. So, I'm gonna go ahead and make it. It's eight, out of, eight ounces of water, half a lemon juice, one teaspoon of apple cider vinegar, and a pitch of cayenne pepper in there, combine ingredients in a glass, stir to combine. That's supposed to be your morning drink before you eat anything. So I'm gonna do that right quick. Stir that up, put my straw on. And I am good to go. The bloat has definitely gone down by using this little morning mocktail. Um, even though it's not the best tasting thing, it definitely works. All right, Amelia, let's go pack it up. Hey guys, so it is uh, day three of this detox. Um, and I'm feeling fabulous. Like I'm actually feeling really good. Um, I've been slacking a bit on my workouts when it comes to my workouts. Um, but food wise, I feel great. I have so much more energy. Um, my only issue is that I almost have too much energy. So I passed two nights. Yeah, past two nights. Been like almost like, it's almost feels like insomnia. Like I can't fall asleep. And I'm not sure if that has to do with the detox or if that has to do with me just being like a psychopath, I don't know. But um, yeah, um, I'm gonna say this and I'm gonna share this with you because I feel comfortable enough to share this with you guys, but that mocktail in the morning, the way you gotta run to the bathroom, okay? When I tell you that shit, when I tell you that stuff just clears the whole thing out. It clears it out. So you literally are just like, you need to go to the bathroom immediately. So keep that in mind when you're drinking that. Because yeah, I've already had mine and I'm about to go and eat my protein pancakes. Um, and I can already feel my tummy doing its thing. So yeah, apple cider vinegar. It's one hell of a drug. <laughs> hey guys, so it is day four of the detox, one more day to go. And I will say this, I feel amazing. My skin looks great. I have so much energy. Oh my God, the wind outside is like ridiculous right now. Holy smokes. I wonder if you can hear that. Anyways. Um, I just got back from filming another segment that I'm going to do on my channel, um, which will probably get posted before this, um, so it's kind of redundant, but I just got back from filming with Gabe and Angel, which is a spa out here in Oakville where I live. So yeah, um, I'm tired. I'm going to edit that video now and then 
I am going to start cooking some more food. I'm gonna make another tray bake because I make them in batches. I don't make it like enough for the week just because I feel like the veggies start to get like ugh, mushy and soggy and nasty or whatever. So yeah. All right guys, so it is a day six. Well, not really day six, it's, it's the sixth day. So my detox was for five days. So yesterday was my last day. Um, I will say this, I, I feel a lot better. I'm ready to continue moving towards um, my goal of being like fully, 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 fully vegan um, again. Um, which wasn't easy the first time around um, and actually harder this time. I've tried to go vegan twice. The first time was super easy um, and I was, the thing that I found though was that I was eating a whole ton of carbs, like way too much carbs and not enough greens, which probably was like a disservice to myself, I guess. Um, the second time around, however, was a lot harder. Um, and it's funny because I've read this multiple times, like don't try to go full fledged, full, full vegan, like right off the bat because you're gonna fall off the bandwagon um, because you're gonna basically be depriving yourself of something for so long. And then eventually you're gonna be like offered it and you're just gonna take it. And unfortunately, that's exactly what happened to me when I went away to California. I ended up just going ahead and eating all the tacos that I wanted and eating all the meat that I wanted, which I wish I never freaking did. Um, but I mean, you live and you learn. So I'm gonna just try to gradually, continually go more and more into the vegan route until I'm not like worried at all. I, I don't miss meat. It's not really like the meat that's the issue. It's the fact that I like eat, cons like I consume things that do have like, you know, like dairy product in it or egg or something like that. So that, that's like the hard part. And then just like kind of getting in enough greens instead of eating so many carbs. So I just want to start getting in as many greens as I can, which I do think that that beet salad with the carrots is gonna be like my number one. Hopefully I don't like make myself sick of it because that is like an awesome, quick, easy thing to make. The thing that I will say also about like eating vegan and plant-based is that like your prep time for cooking anything is like cut in half even more because you you don't have to cook meat and like meat is the longest thing to cook, right? So. I find that, you know, by being vegan, you're kind of cutting out that time for cooking. Um, so I really enjoy that. Um, I wanna like try to make this like more of a longer series of like my road to, or my journey to veganism kind of thing. Um, but I definitely would suggest trying out the detox. It's just for five days, just to, you know, get your body detoxed. The next thing I really want to try is fasting. Like it's called, is it interim fasting or something like that? Where you basically are fasting for 16 hours of the day, um, which I have heard is phenomenal for you. So I want to try that out. However, it's just with my schedule and the way things work out, it's very difficult to do that um, because I need to feed my daughter. So it's like her schedule and my schedule and yeah. Um, and then the next thing I want to do too as well is start working out at like six in the morning. However, the only thing that I'm worried about is getting my food in to my system in the morning and time to work out. So I don't know if any of you like health gurus or whatever know what the better option is. So should I like work out later, like eat at say six or seven in the morning and then work out at nine? after I've already dropped Amelia, or can I just wake up and work out right away and then eat? Like, is that possible? I don't even know. I feel like I should probably ask my old trainer or somebody I know, but maybe you guys might be able to help me, I don't know. Well, yeah, I guess that's it. Hopefully it was helpful for you guys this video, and I guess I will see you guys in my next vlog. Later.